Hi, I'm Crystal. Today we're going to make a sea-themed card, and I use dies to make this card, but this is a sticker-friendly project. I think it could be just equally as cute with stickers as it is with die cuts. So I'm starting out by making the sand for the bottom of my ocean scene, and I'm just starting with some beige cardstock that I've put in my splat box, which is just an Amazon box with the, the flaps cut off, a little paper in the bottom putting my beige cardstock in there and I'm just going to splatter it with some watered down brown ink, some watered down shimmery white acrylic paint and a little bit of black ink. Then I'm taking a stencil. Stencils are such a cost effective way to craft and I'm using a makeup sponge to apply a little ink through that stencil to make my water. And then I'm going to tear my splattered beige cardstock to make my sand bottom. And then I'm going to arrange my die cuts, or like I said, use stickers if you've got stickers, to make my C, C seam. So since I'm gluing a larger piece of paper over a smaller piece of paper, you want to put the edges, the glue for the edges on the smaller piece of paper. That way you don't have glue hanging over the sides. Um, if you, if you glue the larger piece of paper and you have glue on the pieces hanging over the side, you're going to get glue on your scissors. And that's certainly, you know, a recoverable situation, but it's just better if you put the glue on the smaller piece of paper. So now I'm using my fine tip glue bottle um, to apply some glue to the back of my die cuts. If you were using stickers, you wouldn't have to do this step. They'd be self-adhesive. And kind of tucking the bottom of the coral into the top of the sand there, as if it's buried a little bit in the sand. So I've got two pieces of coral here. And I've got a little bit of seaweed, a starfish, and a seahorse to apply to my seam. So the um, die cuts came from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Um, that particular set is no longer in production, but I will link to some similar sets as well as to some really attractive stickers that would also do the job in the description box below. So here's my starfish, and then I'm going to add my um, sentiment. I'm using a happy birthday sentiment. I think this is a cheerful scene for a birthday card, so I um, thought that went well together. And I'm using the same brown cardstock for the happy birthday sentiment that I did for the seahorse, so that the, the elements will coordinate with one another. I think a little repetition of color is really beneficial in any, in any craft project. Um, kind of coordinates what you're looking at. So I could have stamped in some of the ink that I had used to splatter and that would also have served the same purpose. Um, but either way. So now the seahorse is going down, that's the last element, and I can trim off the excess sand and attach this to my card front. I thought it was appropriate for a beach scene card to use a sand colored uh, card base. And then um, <clears throat> this project will be finished. So I hope that you've enjoyed it and you've gotten some tips that will help you. Um, I certainly enjoyed making it and um, wish I was at the beach instead of, uh, instead of inside crafting. So thanks for joining me today.